Hi, I'm Charles with Clive Coffee, and today I'll be showing you how to set up your Profitec Pro 700 espresso machine. Step one, inspect the box and the machine for damage. Remove the machine from its box and place it on a solid level surface. We recommend holding onto all of the packaging materials and boxes. Inspect the machine for damage, and if you find any, contact us immediately. Step two, water quality and plumbing in your machine. Before introducing any water to the machine, it's important to test it and make sure it's adequately soft. Use the included water testing strip to test the softness of your water. Ideally, we're looking for a softness below 50 parts per million. For more information on water, take a look at clivecoffee.com water or click the link in the description of this video. Now that we've verified your water is adequately softened and filtered, it's time to get some water into your machine. If you plan to use the machine's internal reservoir, you can simply fill it now. However, if you plan to direct plumb your machine, you'll need to fasten the braided line to the pump inlet on the bottom of the machine until it's hand tight. Then turn it a quarter turn with an adjustable wrench. Turn the valve next to the inlet 180 degrees. Then flip the switch behind the drip tray to the direct plumb setting. Now open your water line and check for leaks at all the connection points. Step three, turning on the machine and filling the boilers. Plug in your machine and flip the power switch on the front to turn it on. The machine will automatically begin filling and heating the boilers. You'll also notice that the PID flips between two different numbers. One is the brew boiler temperature and the other is the steam boiler. You can tell because the brew boiler temperature has the blinking dot after the first digit and the steam boiler temperature has the blinking dot after the second. You'll know the machine has come to temperature and is ready to pull shots when the PID reads 200 degrees Fahrenheit for the brew boiler. At this point, your machine is ready to pull its first shots. With coffee in your portafilter, lock it into the group head and simply lift the brew lever about 90 degrees to begin pulling espresso. If you got our grinder dial-in service, following the proper dose and shot time with the included coffee will give you a near perfect shot. If you didn't, just watch our video detailing how to pull the perfect shot of espresso. A few tips before we go. If you'd like to change either of the boiler's temperatures, you can do so using the two buttons on the PID. First, press both buttons at the same time, and the display will read T1. T1 represents brew boiler temperature. By pressing the plus button, you can enter that setting. You'll then see the current target temperature, which is 200 degrees Fahrenheit by default. By using the plus and minus button, you can increase or decrease the temperature. Waiting for a moment will send you back out to the main menu showing T1 again. From here, pressing the minus button will move you to T2, which represents the steam boiler temperature. You can enter and change this as well. Pressing the minus button again will exit the menu. When it comes to brew temperature, we recommend using temperatures between about 195 and 205 degrees Fahrenheit, using cooler temperatures for darker roasts and hotter temperatures for lighter roasts. As always, experimentation is highly encouraged. Steam boiler temperature is set to its maximum by default, and it's probably best to leave it there for maximum steaming performance. You can also turn off the steam boiler by using this switch hidden behind the drip tray. This can be handy during summer months when you know you'll only be making iced lattes. To improve your milk steaming skills, watch our How to Steam Milk Guide. And for more tips on how to pull a perfect shot of espresso, watch our guide on that here. If this video helped you set up your new Profitech Pro 700, be sure to hit the like button. And as always, thanks for watching.